What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Camilo here from Trendy Ways. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're all having a great session, a great week so far. And so in this video, we're going to do a quick analysis on the SPY and the Qs. We're going to present two counts for each indice, one suggesting that we will see for the downside and the other suggesting continuation to the upside. Okay, before we dive into the analysis, consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload these videos every single day. Now, the SPY here on the bearish interpretation, okay, reviewing back from October 4th low, we got five waves up, okay? This is a clear five-wave trend. We're now in this corrective sideways consolidation effort, okay? There's a lot of mixed bag going around. So, what... This doesn't, I know a lot of people are saying that perhaps we're going to see further downside and whatnot. It's it's likely anything can happen in the markets. But what the way I like seeing things is that, you know, I take it every day at a time. Now, this doesn't look directional to me at the point, at the moment, right? A directional move will likely occur in such manner, right? We will see the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave, right? This A wave here will be pretty directional okay we will see five waves down or potentially whatever it is and then we will see the three wave pullback and then another five waves down all right or three three five whichever the case may be however the, what we've seen so far is just a three 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 threes meaning a complex correction so this is indicative of potential upside opportunities once this pattern unfolds all right, so don't be quick to be shorting this market, as I mentioned to you guys previously, because all we're going to see is be met with choppiness, and we don't want that. We want to preserve capital. Now, from our November the 22nd high, we got the W wave, the X wave, and then the, the Y wave to complete the W wave of the higher degree. We are then having 1, 2, and 3, right, or ABC or WXY to the X wave, all right, and now we're looking at a potential w wave the x wave so here's what we're going to talk about okay the x wave could take us towards the 78.6 to the 618 all right if we start looking like we're going to slow down and then pull back we will know relatively soon all right we will know this move is coming and our likely support levels or support zones to the downside will likely be the 50 percent to the 618 which is of the higher wave count degree the blue count the, the blue one right here that you see so the one and the two the one and the two obviously the wave two is a retracement a typical retracement of this advance okay of this will be this zone okay a 50 to the 618 normally that's where a wave two will go you know we can go down as deep as the 78.6 but anything beyond that is cutting it too short and we are looking too dicey now Let's take a quick look at our bullish count in the SPY. Okay, the SPY here is suggesting that the wave two has completed. Okay, actually, it's a little bit more clear on our triple Q's chart. Let's take a look at the triple Q's and then let's dive into the SPY thereafter. All right, so here from November, sorry, from October the 4th low, we made a five cleared wave trend, okay, to complete the wave one. We then have the WXY, the X wave, the WX and Y again, Okay, and now we see that in this count, we have two fifth zones of support. We have the 50% of the green wave or the green count, and we have the blue Fibonacci retracement support of the Y wave, meaning the blue count. Okay, this all is indicating that we have a clear clustering of support between two wave structures, right? The higher degree and the smaller degree. Okay, and that is a pretty good uh, indication. Okay, the 78.6 and the 50%, as you can clearly see there. Okay, now, not only that, but that falls in line clearly with this price structure here. Okay, this clustering of price zone that was met with resistance. As you know, previous resistance becomes support. So we were met with resistance with support here, resistance here, some sort of support, broke out of it, found support again, and we're trying to get out of that area. All right, so should this continue, then perhaps we are going to see for the price action to the upside but should this not then let's take a quick look at what our bearish interpretation will look like out in the queues the queues will display the same situation now from the lows here on october the 4th again five wave progression to the wave one w x and then the final y wave will will likely come down towards the uh 1618 which is the extension of w versus y sorry w versus x Okay, and then that'll give you the 1% extension to the wave Y. 
then we have the same exercise in the orange count, which is WX will come down to 371. And then we have the 618, 371 again, which is the, re uh, the retracement of this overall wave advance, okay, to give you a support in the wave two. So we have three fib levels of clustering support that are lining up with one another. Now, all of this, again, all of this, guys, is just very, very dependent on what we do coming into this area. If by any chance, if we do something like this, all right, let me actually do it with this tool. All right, if we go up, continuing progressing further to the upside, we retrace to some, let's say, 38 to 50% retracement, okay, and then we head on higher and we take out these highs here, okay, then at that point, this is likely to happen. And at that point, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to potentially start seeing further upside into all time highs coming into the end of the year and into the new year in January. So be excited, ladies and gentlemen, because you have pretty good opportunity to the upside here. Should this be um, that actually, you know, let's yeah, this is the, the, the bullish count. So if we are met with that type of support, right, the 50 percent to the 78.6, then it is likely that an extension between the wave one versus the wave two. A wave three 100 percent extension will come to the 441 30 that yields us a about 13 percent upside coming into the end and next year guys all right so i am pretty stoked i'm pretty excited whichever possibility whichever scenario unfolds you will notice that it is still going to unfold to the upside so yesterday's title to the video was patience will pay, will be rewarded so Keep on having patience. Even if we see further downside, it is not going to be more than anything beyond four to five percent. It's it's it'll hurt. Not gonna lie, it'll hurt. Obviously, wave count invalidation for this will come uh, past three fifty, but we still have long ways to go. If we break this zone by any means tomorrow or coming into the next uh, next week, then that that is when I'll start wearing. For now, I'm pretty chill. I hope you all are as well because. You know, it's the holiday season, ladies and gentlemen. And another indicator is that if we break above this trend line that originated here on November the 22nd, confirmed October the 9th, retested the 15th, and now we're heading up towards it. Okay, guys. So that's it for me tonight. I hope you're all uh, clear on the on the um, direction here on what the plan is coming into the rest of the week and in the next. And yeah, I hope you all have a, a happy holiday and, and a good one. Take care. See you tomorrow.